What's up, people? Perry here with episode 17 of Surviving Creatively. And in this episode, what we're going to do, we are going to work on the little focal point of this area. You can see that I kind of have it set up. The, um, the, the roof of the Oasis project is uh, all in place right now. All it needs is a little focal point to get it underway. But what I'm thinking for this area, and you can kind of tell by this block right here, we need to come up with some sort of uh, color for this. Now, I'm thinking black. I don't know about you, but the reason why I think black would be a good color for a focal point here is that, one, um, the, um, the, what's it called? The, the portal itself is going to be an obsidian, so... It's going to be a darker color, right? So it's going to look, you know, something like this. I'm going to make a little plan here for you. Just in our our little sanctuary here. Um, so if you can imagine that the portal itself is going to look something like this. Of course, on a larger scale. And do something like that. There we go. On the fly building, how about that? Yeah. Um, oh, no. What? Oh. That's what happens when you build on the fly. You should, you should really just watch me build uh, one of these days. One of these days, I, I know a bunch of people have been saying to me I should stream on Twitch, but I don't think my bandwidth would really allow for that. So that that's why I'm not on Twitch right now. Maybe in the future, perhaps if the channel you know, go somewhere and I can, you know, use the funds in order to um, maybe do some upgrades for myself. But, you know, right now, right now, Twitch is not really an option for me, unfortunately. But I would really love to, to do that just to show you my whole build process as I go through uh, what I'm thinking in my head. Uh, and, and you can watch me screw up and all that good stuff. But um, so the... Uh, the, the, the focal point will look something like this. Now, this is just the basic outline. So just want to fill that in. Just like that. All right. So it's going to look something like this. Um, on the outside, though, uh, this leaves us a lot of room to kind of add in detail. Now, for a modern build, and especially a build like this, you want to keep things kind of simple for me like adding in details like this probably not the best idea and uh, as we go along i'll show you what i mean but i kind of want to pick out a type of block in order to do this and i'm thinking black again i'm thinking black so here's what i'm thinking the inside area will be this obsidian right but then because, well, we need obsidian in order to make the portal. But what I'm thinking is that we'll use a different block on the outside. And I just want to do some tests here for you in order to figure out what kind of block I want to cover the outside. So uh, we have here black wool. So something like that. It looks okay. It's a little too flat for me. That's the problem. A little too flat. Um, we also have black stained clay. Now that's okay. However, the problem with uh, the stained clay is that the... Uh, I don't know if you can see, but the texture itself uh, kind of has a tinge of orange in it. I don't know if you can tell. This is this is pretty much like a gray black color, uh, and this one right here, it's kind of got like a little tinge of orange in it. So I'm gonna try and stay away from something like that. Um, the other one is bedrock, which, of course, we're not gonna do because that's not really practical, uh, especially if you're playing in survival. Of course, you can't harvest bedrock, so uh, we're not gonna go with that. But the last one is the block of coal. Now, let's take a look at this. It's got the same texture as the obsidian, right? 
but it's much darker and it doesn't have that purplish tinge to it so it's pretty much all black but i really like how that looks yeah i mean even if i was to go with something like bedrock you can tell with bedrock uh, it kind of has that grayish tint in the middle there and i don't want that i want something pretty much all black all black so this one you know again it's got a bit of a grayish tinge to it this one's got an orange one to it this one looks pretty good it's got the texture that i like and i'm thinking i'm thinking that you know it's it's a good it's a good black it's a good black for for something like this now the idea as we go along and build that is this will basically cover all of this so you won't see too much of it maybe on the inside you'll see that it's a purple color but i think it, it might work well with the the whole setup that we got going on here so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to get rid of that episode sign first and what i want to do is to start building the um the what's it called what is this thing called the the gold farm it's a gold farm but they, you know i'm trying to build a portal so i'm gonna do that i'll see you just a bit all right check it out there's a little bit of a there's a little bit of a what's it called the <laughs> thunderstorm there's a thunderstorm going off in the background there uh kind of gives it a little extra something don't you think but this is kind of like the look that i'm going for it's not done yet um, I still have yet to finalize the shape of it. Wow, that looks awesome. <laughs> um, but the the idea that I was going for, the reason why I wanted it to be dark, was that you, you can see around the Oasis project here, this um, uh, really long and curvy hallway. It, it basically encompasses the entire area. But it's kind of got like the, the light shapes here. And also... Um, you know, lighter textures, lighter in color and all that stuff. So in order to create something very striking, um, something that grabs your attention, sometimes the best thing to do is to make something that is completely opposite on the color scale. And this is basically what I'm going for. So something like this, I'm going to take a look, get a little side view for you. And in the middle here is the uh, where the actual the 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 whole spawning business will happen. Um, I, I actually um, watched the video on YouTube, of course, about how to do some of these zombie spawners, zombie pigmen spawner things. And I'll leave a link in the description. Um, the guy kind of goes through the uh, the whole thing, um, and he can better describe it better than I can really so you should go watch that video and when I watch that video I'll be honest with you I actually fell asleep because and it's not a bad thing why I fell asleep um, is because this guy has a very I want to say methodical voice and I'm just gonna uh, get going on with the just getting the outline of the shape that I want but this guy has a it's a very deep voice let's put it that way and to tell you the truth I know that it's a little bit of a story time here with Perry when I was growing up and when I was a kid I wanted to have that deep voice now if you're listening to my voice right now and you, you think it's deep this guy's voice is uh, well not as deep but it is definitely uh, deeper uh, than me uh, but I always wanted to have that sort of deep voice just to, you know, because I thought it was kind of a cool thing listening to voiceover guys and, you know, Morgan Freeman uh, is someone that comes to mind whenever I think of cool voices. And I always wanted to have that cool voice, especially listening to the radio. Radio was something that I was really interested to get into. I kind of like a side thing. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was like the main thing that I really wanted to do, but I was interested in a lot of things growing up uh, and radio was one of them. But, you know, for me, and I'm trying to get the the shape right here. Um, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it after after this. But um, what I was trying to, you know, 
do is like try to like fashion your voice in some sort of fashion that would you know make it lower um my dad he kind of has a low voice but you know if if you're listening to my voice right now it kind of has that i don't know my pronunciation is horrible and um you can probably tell by the way i pronounce things sometimes in fact some of the comments you, you guys tell me oh it's supposed to it's supposed to be like this and not like this and you know that that's great it tells me that uh i need to be better at my pronunciation so i don't mind it so much but um yeah and and you know one of my my idols on youtube b double o he's got a really deep nice voice and it's always uh, something awesome to to listen to so this guy uh his name's p-town and again i'll leave a link in the description to his little nether portal um uh, tutorial there but he kind of had this has this voice that kind of just wants to put you to sleep and to be honest with you guys whenever i want to fall asleep I, I'll, I'll find a video that has like somebody talking or somebody that has some sort of you know deep voice and you know I'll, I'll just listen to it till I go to sleep um, you know maybe maybe a little bit too much info for you guys but you know um, it's something that uh, I like to do now I am trying to figure this thing out and I don't know exactly what I am doing um, but the idea that I'm going for is that I kind of want to have a square shape so I like the square as it is right here but uh, you know I want to make it a little bit larger and you know go into get a little bit of uh, creativity going on but the idea that I'm looking for is square but also rounded off a little bit um, just to add a little bit more you know texture to it a little bit more a little bit something extra instead of just like a plain old square block so i think i'm gonna keep going on this uh kind of step away for a bit and take a look at take a look and see what i can do because you see how what i've got going on here is i want to extend it out like this um and then do that on the other side so it kind of looks like there's like a hole in the middle i don't know I don't know. I'm I'm working on it. I'll work on it. All right. You ready to take a look at it? Wow. Um, not much really to say about it, um, other than the fact that the idea behind this entire area is that we want to create a focal point for people to look at, and I think we achieve that with this. It's very striking. It's very large in size. Um, as well with the background, the lightness of the background, um, what we do with that is that we add in a contrasting shape or color, or not really shape, going for more for color, but the idea is that the blackness of it, you know, against the light background really grabs your attention, right? Um, the other thing about it is, well, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about how uh, the shape that I was going for here, and that is... Uh, I wanted to round it off a bit. I know you can't really tell because it's it's really dark. Uh, these coal blocks are really, really, really black. But uh, I like it. Uh, that's what I'm going for. Um, you can see a central support structure right in the middle there. Um, that glowstone, don't worry about it. That will go soon. It was just something to um, to help to help guide me uh, going along and during the building process. But you can see it's it's a centralized thing right and i think what will end up happening is that they'll they'll be like a shoot for the zombie pigment to spawn and then they'll they'll drop into that so um, i still have to rough out the openings for all that and usually to tell you the truth what i end up doing when building some sort of mob system or some sort of uh, redstone contraption is i like to build the contraption first and then try to uh, build something around it but because this is such a focal point uh, I felt that it was important to get the shape right first and then you know I'll do some finagling try to figure out exactly where I want everything to go but yeah uh, I, I like the way it turned out I like the way it turned out but uh, be sure to leave your comments down below what you think of it positive or negative that's all good 
Um, but actually, that's going to be it for this episode. It's a it's a bit of a short one, uh, and I'll tell you why. Uh, I've been on a little bit of a working vacation um, as of this episode. Actually, I've been away for I want to say about seven seven days. Um, yeah, just getting some work done, getting some real life stuff out of the way, um, so I can get back to YouTube. But I backlogged a bunch of videos for you guys just to keep up the momentum of the channel and whatnot. But, you know, uh, I think by the end of this video, and then there'll be another video after this one. And then after that, I'll be back to making videos. So, um, so yeah, it, it's almost like I never left, but I, I've been actually gone for quite a while. Um, but actually, I thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that like button if you so choose. really helps me out, helps out the channel. Uh, leave your comments down below. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Keeps you up to date on everything that's going on in it. So, that's it for me. Always remember, keep your head up. And I'll see you in the next one.